Hopefully to come pick them up for all the money. Right. I wonder if they have uh, hot air balloons to play. <laughs> I don't know. We are on I the side know. of the road in Sorrento can we, Valley. Can we get a lift? <laughs> I don't know if that's an lift? option. But that, we don't know. There's no, been no confirmation anyway coming from police. We just know that 911 got a lot of uh, phone calls uh, with this uh, hot air balloon being as close as it was. Again, you're looking at this is earlier pictures from not that long ago uh, as this uh, hot air balloon was coming down away from those homes over a shopping center. They ended up kind of going down this road a little bit before coming down safely, uh, landing upright and, and as uh, they would hope to land. Uh, but again, we don't know the circumstance as to why they were coming down mm -hmm. and why they had to land where they did. But if it was a mechanical issue, it may not be an emergency situation. It may just be one where they need to get that thing uh, back home. Right, and this is in such a busy area. You've got to be concerned not only about people uh, and cars, but also power lines in the area. That being a, a very real concern. The concern, really. The concern, right. A and any tall trees, uh, depending on how tall they are. This is uh, not the first time this has happened in San Diego. I did a little bit of research. We had just most the most recent one was back in October, the beginning of October, you'll remember, uh, in the North County. I think it was Rancho Bernardo where uh, a couple, a guy had was proposing to his girlfriend mm -hmm. and uh, the, the balloon crashed. That was caught on video. That was, that was quite an interesting uh, trip there. And then in January of 2013 in Rancho Penasquitas, another balloon crashed that also caught on camera. That involved uh, a couple of newlyweds. So not really common, certainly in San Diego, but it's not something we have never seen before. Yeah, and maybe. that would be expected. There are so many hot air balloons that go up each and every day here in San Diego. You see really two groups of them, one that go up for the sunrise, typically out in the East County, out in Alpine or Temecula or Murrieta. Uh, and then they go over the wineries for the, the sunrise tours. That's the one my family and I did. And then you also have the sunset ones that go out in the Del Mar area. You've probably seen those if you mm -hmm. drive the five anytime around sunset. And that's what I'm assuming this balloon did because it was in the Sorrento Valley area, which is really yes. the community just to the east of Del Mar. Uh, and given the time proximity, we started watching this just about five o'clock. So you would assume that that's what they were doing, headed out to the ocean to try and watch the sunset. All right, again, you're continuing to follow our coverage of this uh, hot air balloon that uh, went down in Sorrento Valley just about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago at this point. We've been continuing to follow it as reports came in that it was dangerously close to homes. And we followed it as it went not only over those homes, over a valley near a shopping center, then landed near the buildings uh, with the Qualcomm campus. So it is in that area uh, right now. And as you alluded to, Jen, I mean, power lines are the main concern. That's when you hear about the accidents mm -hmm. uh, involving hot air balloons. This doesn't appear to be an accident. Certainly it appears to be a situation where either they had a medical condition or issue on board or they had mechanical issues and were able to get it into a safe place to put the balloon down. And it right now it kind of looks like it's leaning over that building. Yeah, it, it looks like the balloon is, tr is starting to lose some of its air. Um, as Skyfox is going to loop around, we do have a reporter who is who is headed there. He is on Sorrento Valley, Valley Boulevard. Uh, this is our camera inside that via that car. Sor Sorrento Valley Boulevard, they are almost there. They're stuck at that traffic light there. Uh, you wonder if, as you see the police officers there, mm -hmm. there you've got some, okay, those people are getting out of the balloon. They're getting out, correct? Yeah, it looks is like it. That's what we're looking at? Yep. Hard yes. to tell how many, but at least uh, four or five people. As we saw them uh, flying, it looked more like five or six, perhaps, and it's so hard to tell because it is as dark as it is in Sky Fox. Is and there's above. more people climbing out of the balloon. Right. Look at them. Yeah, I would guess there's probably at least half a dozen, uh, if not more. The balloon, the baskets are quite large. They can hold oftentimes almost 10 people. But and look at the uh, balloon itself. That is, that is down on the ground now. Right. So it's they've definitely uh, they have definitely taken the the started to take the air out of that. Uh, we do have a reporter, again, uh, Jamie Chambers is almost there. You saw him just moments ago from the camera inside his vehicle, and I saw some police officers. You, you almost wonder there if they're trying to block some of the roads mm -hmm. as they try to figure out what to do with this balloon uh, and how to pack it up. And really the bigger thing is what happened? What went wrong? Was it a, a medical thing or did the balloon just have some type of malfunction yeah. that it just couldn't get any higher than it was? I mean, truth be told, if you look at this situation, not knowing, of course, the details, but the fact that they were where they were and they ended up where they did, it had to be pretty textbook. The fact that they were looking for a place to uh, not hit any uh, obstacles, not hit any people or homes or power lines especially. And then when they realized perhaps it wasn't the best place to land between those homes and that shopping center, getting up and getting mm -hmm. enough energy and uh, air 
to um, bring the balloon up over that shopping center and into a place near a major road that they could be uh, rescued or, uh, or uh, retrieved at that point. They landed near that road, pretty close uh, to some cars, but nevertheless,